In this video, we'll be adding level 1 and 2 into our game. So, let's begin. To get started, we'll need to go to our player. And there are a few scripts we need to edit before we can get started adding these levels. So first we need to go to events and add a when I receive block. And we'll say when I receive level select menu. And then we'll hide our player and we'd also want to set the variable can player shoot to false. That's the first thing we'd want to do. Next, we'd want to go to our asteroids. And in both asteroids, we go to this if statement where we say should spawn asteroids equal to true. And right click on the if statement, duplicate it, and remove the contents inside. And then put this if statement outside the create clone of myself. And we can do the exact same for the second asteroid. Next, we'd want to go to our spaceship displayer and we'd want to drag in the when I receive block and we can go to when I receive level select menu and would go to looks and hide it when I receive level select menu. Now we'd go to our game title and would say when I receive level select menu we click we, sh we click on the show button and make sure we show it. After that, we'll go to our backdrop and add another script. So we'll say when I receive level select menu, we would go to our variables and set the star speed multiplier to 0 0.5 when I receive level select menu. And then we can go ahead and also set should spawn asteroids to false and finally set can player shoot to false as well and we can put this all under the when I receive level select menu now for each of our levels we need to create missions so we can go and display what the mission is with sprites so the first sprite we can input is this asteroid right here we can use this first and then we can upload the rest of the sprites this is the same asteroid sprite as we used for the first asteroids and we can go to the royalty free game art asset so we can grab a few enemies we would want to select the mothership the communications or rather the spike shooter and the space ship as well now that we have them all in our game we'll use these to display what our player has to do in each level so we can start off with our asteroid but let's rename this to asteroids icon and we'll change its size to 10 and on the x-axis we can have it at negative 2, 1, 5 and we'd want our y to be 154 so we can have it nice here at the top and then we can go to our spaceship and rename this to spaceship icon and would have our spaceship size as 17 and the x negative 2, 1, 5 and the y can be 110. Next we'll go to our spike shooter icon and would have our size be 25 and on the y would have it 68 and the x negative 2, 1, 5. Now we can go to our mothership icon and have our size 16, have the X be negative 215 and the Y be 10. Now we have all of the attributes, 
all of the icons now we need to create a few new variables so the first variable will be called asteroids left and this would just store how many asteroids are left for the player to destroy next would have spaceships left and this would do the same thing how many spaceships would have to destroy spike shooter shooters left and finally would want mother ships left and then we would want to right click on the variable and then select large readout right click on the mothership variable and move it down here next to the mothership icon go to the spike shooter and make it next to the spike shooter and do the same for our spaceships left and try to make them align about as much as possible and there we go so now we have all the attributes al aligned as much as possible and they're all next to the corresponding icon now what we can do for all of these icons we need to add some code for them so let's start with our asteroids icon we go to events and select the when flag is clicked go to looks and you want to hide it and not just hide the icon alone but we can go to variables and we want to hide asteroids left as well and then we can go to events and select the when i receive level select menu and then just duplicate this and move it here and then we can say when i receive level one we'd go to looks and show it and go to variables and we'd want to show the asteroids left variable and then we can just duplicate this because we'd also want to show it in level two now we'd need to do the same for a few of these sprites so we can just drag this into all of the other sprites and then just edit the attributes so just drag them right there and then would first do our spaceship icon and instead of saying hide asteroids variable we can say hide spaceships left we can hide spaceships left and show spaceships left and show spaceships left so here since it's level one in level one we won't have any spaceships so we can actually change this to hide and say hide spaceships left and remove the show variable now that we have all of this set up the spike shooters and motherships won't be part of level one and two they'll only be part of level three and four so what we can do for this is just click right here and hide them and then go to the variables and hide the spike shooters left and hide the motherships left now if we start the game we can see that the icons hid and the variables as well now we need to write the code for the level so we can go to the backdrop and start writing in the script for this as we see we've already done the beginning for level one but there's a bit more we need to do so we can go to our variables and we'd want to set asteroids left to, to five to five should work so we'd have five asteroids that our player would need to destroy in our first level and then we can go to control and select wait until and grab an equals to operator and then go to variables and say asteroids left equals to zero so in the beginning of level one we'd set asteroids left to five and we'd wait for the player to destroy five asteroids and once it reaches five once it reaches zero then we can go on with the rest of the script and what you'd want to do is go to events and broadcast level select menu and we can go to variables and would set level two level two unlocked to true and we can move this right here 
and we can duplicate this and we want to set it to false when flag is clicked and after that we would want to go to control and select a forever loop and when flag is clicked we want to say if and we go to operators and we grab a less than operator and go to variables asteroids left and we always want asteroids left to stay at zero and we never want it to pass number zero so if it ever becomes less than zero then we can just set it right back to zero just in case we destroy more than five asteroids you don't want it to go to a number less than zero so now let's go back to our asteroids and change asteroids left by negative one whenever we destroy an asteroid so put it right above the explosion and we can do it right and we can do it for our right asteroid as well we change asteroids left by negative one whenever we destroy one of the asteroids on the right side now we can go ahead and test level one to see if it works so as you can see we have five asteroids to destroy but let's stop this and go to our spaceships icon and we want to sh instead of show it we want to hide this as well so we forgot to change that okay now let's test this again and now we see that we have five asteroids to destroy and every time oof, every time we destroy an asteroid it becomes less by one and now we can see that the level select menu is back and if we click on level two nothing really happens but let's stop this now we know that level one is working now we can set up the code for level two so all we would want to do here is go to control actually events and select when i receive level two and then we can just duplicate what we have here right until here and we can throw the rest out now from what we have here we also want to set the spaceships left so we can go to variable and set spaceships left to six to destroy six spaceships in the first level and then would want to set should spawn spaceship dropper to true and then we can go to our events and broadcast oh, let's stop this and broadcast spawn spaceship dropper and then we can go to a wait until block and we can go to our operators and say wait until and go to variables and say spaceships left is equal to zero and then after spaceships left is equal to zero we can go to set and we'd want to set should spawn spaceship dropper to false and then we can go to events or control and wait until and then go to operators and select the equals to operator and say asteroids left is equal to zero since it can never equal to something less than zero and we can go to our events and broadcast the level select menu again and after we've done that we can go to variables and set level select three level three unlocked and we can set that to true so now the only thing we need to do is go to our enemy spaceship and change spaceships left so we can find this here and change it by negative one and you can put this right after the wait 0 0.05 seconds and finally we can go to our enemy spaceship dropper and we can as well go to set spaceships left to zero 
and we can put this if we destroy the enemy space dropper itself so if we do this we can just put this after we set the explosion position and if we do this as well the spaceships left will equal to zero so now let's full screen the game and let's play level one and level two And now we can see that level two is working as well. We have five asteroids to destroy and we just need to destroy a few spaceships. Okay, now we, now now level one and two are working now we now we have level one and level two working so if we just minimize the screen and go to our enemy spaceship dropper all we want to do is do one more thing in our enemy spaceship dropper and we can duplicate the if should spawn spaceship dropper and put it outside and basically all we do is say if should spawn spaceship dropper equals to false then we want to destroy this clone and we can put this in a forever loop and say when i start this clone and that's the last thing we need to do for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video and in that video we'll be adding level three and level four so stay tuned for that goodbye Oh, mm -hmm.